Hi guys, we're here at Animal Wonders where we have about 90 rescued exotic animals. We're in the reptile room and today I'd like to share one of our littlest critters with you, Goma, our red-eyed tree frog. is one of our animal ambassadors, which means he goes out to public presentations. He was being kept as a pet until his previous owner got worried about not providing him a good enough home. We set him up in a bioactive habitat with a fun water feature and a few live plants. Despite having lots of places to lounge and hide, Goma will sometimes sleep stuck onto his glass. I love when he does this because you can see his cute little belly through the glass. He is great at camouflaging too. One time I couldn't find him anywhere and I looked in every every corner, even under the moss, until I finally found him stuck under a leaf, just chilling. He enjoys clinging to his backdrop, letting the edge of the waterfall trickle around him. And he also likes to sit in his tiny bowl of water that I call his little jacuzzi. He leaves behind poops every once in a while. They're like little surprise nuggets, which makes me think that he's enjoying it in there. Goma is nocturnal. He's active right now because we're talking right in front of him. Because he sleeps all day, he hunts at night and he's picky about eating in front of people. So you won't get to see him eat in this video. He loves climbing all over his plants, stalking his prey. Crickets are his favorite and he catches them by sticking his sticky tongue out and pulling them into his mouth. And then he swallows them by pushing them down his throat with his eyeballs. Goma does well with limited handling. He's not the kind of animal that enjoys being handled, so I don't do it very often, maybe a few times a month. And I take precautions before handling him. I wash my hands to get any potentially hazardous substances off, and then I wet them down before touching him. I do this because amphibians, like frogs, absorb things through their skin, and the oils on my hands could be hazardous. When I pick him up, I make sure to surround him with my fingers so he doesn't immediately jump off. Once he's gotten used to the idea of being woken up and held, I can let him crawl out and onto my arm if he wants to. Goma will jump off, so I like to keep my other arm in front of him so he has something to jump to when he feels the need to escape. Goma's colors are stunning, and every time I see him, I'm reminded how incredibly lucky I am to work with these amazing animals. Thank you, Goma, for keeping my wonder alive. And I hope you guys enjoyed seeing Goma. If you have any questions about him, let me know in the comments below. And if you'd like to go on more adventures with us every week, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks, and we'll see you next week.